Hey guys, it's that time to check out the uranium site and see what's cooking. As you can see, UXT1, which is the uranium futures, has found support at the uh, 50% from the uh, extreme uh, swing points, and that's 82.75. And you can see the uranium futures have bounced. And just kind of going sideways, we need to at least take out uh, 91, which was 90, 91. And get above this trend line in order to have a fighting chance to kiss the 106, uh, 6, 106 ish level uh, to resume the trend high. But so far, it's got a little bounce, but nothing exciting once we break through this trend line. But so far, it bounced off to 50%, which typically that's what normally happens. You first hit it, you kiss it, you bounce. When you're coming from the bottom, you kiss it, you fail, and then you got to retest it again and then see if you can break through. So typical price action, nothing surprising here, but let's see if we could continue going grinding higher. Or if they're going to test it, uh, consolidate, try it again, or continue lower from there. That remains to be seen. Let's check out NLR. And you can see on the daily... Uh, it's still in buy mode, and uh, let's see, the weekly, still, yeah, so the weeklies, the majority of the uh, stocks here on the weekly, they're in buy, but on the daily, this one uh, is pretty choppy, let me see something here, yeah, it's pretty, pretty choppy, so far it's in buy uh, mode, but uh, it hasn't uh, penetrated the uh, supply zone, just kind of hovering on the bottom edge. And hasn't taken out uh, 7048. So this one is actually a good one. It's an ETF. Let's go to NXE. So far in the daily, still on the buy, uh, buy mode. Just kind of chopping around in consolidation pattern. Uh, unless it takes out 687, then things could probably change. But then you got this... Uh, Supply zone, uh, you could probably say now it's support right here, anywhere between the 656 and the uh, 618. And I know on the weekly, uh, it's still obviously it's still on buy, buy mode here. Uh, URG, uh, you can see that it hit the uh, supply zone, the bear camp between you could say 150. I know, 215 and 195. I think I need to open this up. That's why it looks a little weird. There we go. That's better. And so far, we kissed that, pulled back. Still a uh, buy signal on the weekly and on the daily sell signal that triggered on the uh, 21st. Uh, if you're a conservative, you have to wait at least for $1.76 to have a fighting chance to test this uh, high. But so far, bounced. And just kind of hanging in there. Uh, looks a little weak here uh, compared to all these other days. So let's see if this holds or is going to push back. U, 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 uh, still in sell signal. Nothing really exciting there. On the daily, the Rio uh, still in sell mode on the daily. And on the weekly, it's also triggered a sell mode or signal that kicked in on March the 11th. So this one is. Uh, eh, on more on the weaker side, but not making new highs, but not making new lows. So you kind of have a line here and a line here, and it's just kind of range bound. So let's see if it's going to push straight with uh, momentum to the downside or continue this back and forth until it breaks above. CCJ, one of the uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse, which is Uranium Futures, Uranium Spot, Cap, and CCJ, the powerful four horsemen. And you can see that we haven't penetrated the supply zone uh, and still in buy mode. We know here was the uh, pump and dump uh, news event. And if we look at the daily, uh, just can't penetrate the uh, supply zone. Tried it, almost tried it here, but failed. Tried it here, but failed. And it's just kind of going sideways. Not higher highs, but not... Uh, you could probably be, if you want to be really, you know, nerdy about it. You made a low here, made a high, made a lower, lower low here. 
Now you're making a lower high here. So now the question is, are we going to make a new low? That remains to be seen, but keep your eyes on uh, Cameco. Uh, so far, still in sell mode on the daily short time frame. UEC still on the uh, sell mode, hasn't penetrated uh, 748. So it's just kind of going sideways, stuck in a range. Uh, and you just got to wait at least for this level to break, 624. But it's just consolidating back and forth. Um, and broke this trend line. It hasn't regained it back to get at least into the supply zone, at least to test the high of uh, 834. And I'm assuming that one has a weekly buy uh, signal still intact. Uranium uh, Royalty, the one I own, not looking too good. Sell signal on the uh, daily. And on the weekly, I'm sure it's getting very close to, uh, let's see if we can fix this here, auto. Yeah. Sell signal will be uh, 219, and it looks like it's probably heading down there. So, so far, it's not the best one. It's probably the worst one, the one I own. Uh, uranium Sprott, Sprott Uranium Miners, another ETF, still in the uh, supply zone, in the supply camp. Not taking out uh, 47.42, but not really going higher. So it's just kind of stuck there with the uh, buy signal still intact. But I bet the uh, daily has a sell signal. Yep. Most of them all have them that kicked in around February. You can see that it hasn't really taken out this high, uh, but really hasn't really taken out that low. So it's just kind of low, high, low, fail new high. So another low? We'll see. Uranium uh, URA failing on the uh, supply zone, having a tough time penetrating that. So it's somewhere on the weaker side, and this is one of the popular uh, ETFs. So it can't even, eh, where are we, uh, 280, 2864, uh, just almost, just you know, a little above 2849. Uh, so let's see if it could... Uh, if it could push higher, it was just going to still be in a in a rut here, but still in sell mode. And uh, SU, SRUUF, Sprott Physical Uranium Trust, uh, kind of stuck in this range here also at uh, 2108. Uh, still in the sell signal on the daily, but I'm sure the weekly is probably positive because that's what they're all looking like. Unless you take out uh, 1809. In this area right here this is a baby so that's why i got the fibonacci so you got this uh 1856 and you got this a uh, 2420 they kind of hit the high here you know pierced it a little bit but then pulled back so these are the two levels you want to watch if you own this uh uranium trust uh a break up here will continue a uh, break down here will probably test some uh, lower levels over here maybe this uh demand zone but we'll see how that plays out. And lastly, DNN. So far, this one has been really good. You know, it's been surprising me. I got out of this on January 2nd. And so far, it's been, you know, hanging in there in the supply zone between 214 and 183. And uh, this one has a buy signal on the uh, weekly, but the daily, you got at least uh, uh, cross over 207. At least to have a fighting chance to test the 215 and then continue grinding higher. And then with that, you want to see at least uranium futures now start grinding, making higher highs and higher lows uh, for all these uh, socks uh, in the uranium sector to continue that path. But also keeping in mind that the uh, equities on the S&P, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, they're all getting toppy at the top. And I feel like maybe there's going to be a turning point. And it's just a matter of time. Once that turning point comes down, is uranium going to still continue grinding sideways to higher while the equities go down? Uh, we were going up and we were and the uh, uranium sector was going down while the equities and the indices were going up. So they were going inverse. So I'm curious to see once the stock market gets a correction, is it going to bring down uh, the uranium sector also, or uranium sector is just going to ignore it and just chuck along higher. So those are the things you want to keep an eye on. I'll be working on my uranium spot price uh, report for uh, 
a month are we? March? Yeah, for March. Because I did the one in February. So uh, there's a couple of things I have my eyes on. And well, we'll take it from there. Well, hopefully you like this video and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on the uranium sector.